cropping season is underway. We're out here in one of our fields where we had early harvested corn that went to the feedlot, and now we've put winter wheat out here. When Stephen gets done spraying in this field, we're gonna go on to the rye field, which is just a mile up the road. We're putting out some nitrogen, some sulfur. We're, of course, putting out some bio ag -E, and we're also putting out Fulltech zinc from Spraytech. We had some extra zinc left around this year, and through our nutrient density journey, we have identified that we need to get more zinc in the meat. Zinc is an expensive supplement to put in the bunk, to put in the feed wagon. We're trying to see if we can grow it. So now, when we are applying foliar fertility to any forage crop, be it corn silage or the oats we're gonna bale, um, the, the rye we're gonna bale, the sorghum we're gonna bale, we're not putting out zinc or other nutrients just only necessarily from a agronomic standpoint, trying to raise a crop. We're trying to think about the feed that we're going into the cattle. So we're trying to infuse a higher rate of zinc into this rye that will then be expressed in the cattle and expressed into the meat. Again, it's part of the nutrient density journey. We'll see if we can improve those numbers. If you go to the GLC Beef website and go under the News tab, you can look at my nutrient density report that I got from Utah State. You can see that we had a great amount of calcium in there relative to the rest of the database. Now we're trying to see, can we raise our zinc? Our zinc numbers were average and we're trying to do a better job.